grass and wheat are all top Oregon crops, but they're also a target of destruction for one of the Northwest's most dangerous crop invaders. Joseph Dames found out how officials are trying to get rid of that four-legged invader. These are feral swine, and these are photos of feral swine across Oregon. An overall issue and a species that I don't believe we can afford. Um, to have on the landscape here in Oregon. John McComas, a wildlife biologist with the USDA, understands how important it is to Oregon to keep our agriculture from feral swine harm. That includes many diseases. Feral swine are a non-native invasive species in North America. They uh, compete with our native wildlife. They carry diseases that can be harmful to our native wildlife, to our livestock and to humans. In 2014, $20 million allocated by Congress went to an eradication program of feral swine to the USDA. Nationwide, in 2014, the estimated damage from wild pigs was $1.5 billion to the agricultural industry alone. About $242,000 goes to the USDA each year in Oregon, and that money goes straight to the cause. Okay. And some of those diseases, if they were to transfer from feral swine to domestic, would be extremely detrimental to uh, you know, pork producers and some of the diseases that can be transferable to cattle. It would, you know, it could be economically devastating. And this image is a map of where that feral swine can be found in Oregon. But Thomas tells me that feral swine damage can go straight to riparian regions, creating major problems for Oregon salmon and steelhead. But he tells me feral swine may be on their way out. I do believe we are close to completing the mission of eradication. At the Dalles, Joseph Dames, Coin 6 News.